Hi everyone, it's been some time, but we are excited to announce that we've completed a new version of DLX Evo for you. You are now able to update to DLX Evo 12.1. First of all, we would like to thank all those who have sent us their ideas for new features via the feature upvote in the DLX community. We always take a critical look at all your suggestions and then weigh up which idea will be realized. Many of your suggestions have been taken into account and are included in this update. It is important for us to continue to involve you all in the development of DLX Evo in order to realize the best possible software for all of you. Therefore, please continue to use the feature upvote. Thank you. Now, let's have a closer look at DLX Evo 12.1. I would like to start with a few important improvements to existing functions. As of now, you can select and edit rooms and areas together in the Spaces tool. This allows you to simultaneously assign usage profiles or important information to multiple areas and adjust individual values such as target illuminance across several areas at once. It simplifies the process, saving significant time compared to editing each room individually. Another useful improvement is the ability to create, save and load your own false color scales. Previously, the Alux only had one global false color table. It could be edited, but custom tables and color codes were not possible. However, this limitation has been addressed in the new version. Users now have the ability to create, edit and assign colors to their own custom tables. This feature allows for the creation of personalized lists tailored to specific applications such as interior and exterior lighting as well as emergency lighting. Additionally, these customized tables can be saved and reused in future projects. Another improvement is the copying and pasting of objects in the side view. When you now move windows and doors, they stay in the wall instead of sliding out. As of DLX Evo 12.1, you can now conveniently drag and drop DWG and DXF plans on the start screen. In addition, there is a new feature allowing you to quickly select or deselect all layers for DWG and DXF plans. Moreover, DWG plans can now also be utilized for the side or front view. You can either load a new plan or reuse a plan with multiple views. Simply adjust the plan to the selected view in the appropriate cat view with a single click. Next, ensure that the plan is positioned at the origin as usual and check and correct heights, luminaire positions, roof pitches, etc. if necessary. Now, let's talk about some new functions. We implemented a support feature for identifying luminaires that are not linked to a light scene. Normally, Dialux ensures that luminaires are consistently assigned to at least one light scene. However, during the process of working with light scenes, some luminaires may become unassigned. These unassigned luminaires, which appear black, are excluded from calculations since Dialux calculates light scenes individually. The new support feature now lists these unassigned luminaires, allowing users to select them from the list and view them in the cat. Users can then add them to an existing light scene or create a new light scene incorporating these luminaires. DLX Evo 12.1 now also displays the number of selected objects in the status bar. Simply select luminaires, furniture or room elements and the count will appear. Mixed selections via the project tree are also supported. Did I mention that you can now plan your projects in DLX Evo with luminaires from over 267 DLX members? That's right, since the beginning of the year we have welcomed over 104 new members. This growth directly benefits you, as you are now able to design projects with more diverse products. Check out this overview on our website if you want to know who has recently joined and make sure to visit it from time to time as we will update the list constantly. Speaking of DLX members, we implemented a quick access for you to all available DLX members. Just open up the Luminous tool and navigate to the button labeled Go to Brand. Here you now have the possibility to choose between five different inquiries that you can send directly to the manufacturer. You need the prices for the plant luminaires? There is an inquiry form for that. The message window already contains a predefined text, which you can of course change if necessary. 
The luminaires of the manufacturer planned in the project are listed below with their quantity and designation. Just click on send and the message will be sent directly to the selected manufacturer. You need assistance with product research? We've got you covered. Select the appropriate inquiry, enter your details and click send. That's it. The Lumina list has of course not vanished. It is now located directly under the GoToBrand button. We are also continuously working hard to improve Dialogs Pro for your benefit. As of Dialogs Evo 12.1, manufacturer names are now accurately presented across all areas once a subscription has been activated. A lot of updates have been made for the IFC import. Window fronts are now imported more comprehensively, with improved recognition of windows within facade curtain walls during the IFC import. Also, the automatic creation of the standard floor element during IFC import has been discontinued. Since IFC models frequently contain environmental descriptions, this change prevents instances where elements such as light wells were inadvertently covered by the floor element. We've also enhanced performance when closing projects that contain a large quantity of heating, ventilation, air conditioning or plumbing components. For all other improvements, please have a look at the release notes of this version. Yep, that's all for now. We're working hard to make the best lighting design software for you all. Until next time.